The claim check pattern is an event-driven architecture pattern where instead of publishers sending an entire message through an event bus to subscribers, the publishers only send the message header to the subscribers and they store the body of the message in a separate data store. And that message header contains a pointer to the location where the subscribers can find the data when they're ready to process it. And that pointer is called a claim check, hence the name of the pattern. Let's draw it out and see what it looks like. We'll start with our source system, which is publishing an event in response to a state change. And we also have our event bus. So initially, this looks pretty similar to a lot of our other event-driven architecture patterns. But the key difference with this one is that instead of sending the entire message to the event bus, the publisher splits it into a header, which does go to the event bus, and the message body, which goes to a separate data store down here. Now, when the subscribers on the other end retrieve the message, they're retrieving the message header, and the message header contains a pointer to the location in the data store where they can find the message body when they're ready to process it. And that when they're ready to process this part is key as well, because the subscribers don't necessarily have to process the event right away when they receive it. They can also hold on to it and just keep the pointer for reference later, and then they can retrieve the data when they're ready to retrieve it. This pattern reduces the volume of data that has to flow through your event bus, and it's really helpful when you're working with IoT sensors or medical devices that send a lot of messages in rapid succession. And also, if you're working in a regulatory environment where you're required to save your message bodies for a certain period of time, this is a great pattern to use because you can bypass any limits on your event bus for how long you can store them, and you can keep them in the data store indefinitely. And then lastly, it helps to guarantee message delivery because that message body is going to go to the data store and stay there. And even if the delivery of the message header fails, you can always resend it with that same pointer and the subscribers will still be able to access it later.